Hi, crafty friends. Hey, have you guys ever distressed wood with another piece of wood? Well, we're gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a shim wreath and I'm just using some leftover, uh, it's left leftover box that I have and I'm gonna cut the, um, the wreath shape out of it, the wreath circle form, you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why are words so difficult for me sometimes? So I'm gonna cut out this center of it here and then we'll just have that cardboard piece. Now, um, I ended up using two packs of the shims with this and what I did was it kind of took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to um, make them kind of lay around here, but I just got started with my first shim and then what I found was easiest for me was I grabbed out a pencil and then I would just kind of eyeball where I wanted the other one to be and just kind of mark it off. That way I knew the direction it was going to lay and then I would put the hot glue down and just kind of keep um, doing that all the way around um, to make the wreath. Now, I really wanted the inside edge of this just to kind of line up really clean. So that's why I really just kind of took a minute to see where I wanted it to be, kind of position it around there, and then again, just marking it off. Um, as I kind of got um, more along, then I was like, oh, how am I going to make this end and it was actually really easy I just kind of peeled up that edge because I didn't put very much glue under that very first one and then just kind of slid that one in after I put the hot glue on and it worked out really really great so yay to that all right so now here's what we're going to do we're going to put our first coat of paint down and I'm just kind of using this cream color I had picked up those flowers those little felt, felt flowers oh hello um, from Dollar Tree so I wanted this to really have have that pop of color so what I decided to do was to distress with green I know totally not what I no normally do so I'm going to take another wood shim there I've already used one side of it with paint and I'm going to put some more paint on it and I'm just going to kind of paint brush it in a little bit not all the way and I'm just going to start going along each one of the shims and then we will get that distressed look like these have been around a hot minute or two. That's my favorite way for things to look. So just kind of kept working around um, the wreath as I was going. And then once I needed a little bit more paint, I would add that on and just keep going. So once that was all dry, of course I had to do a little bit of distressing. This is an ink pad that I've had forever that you can see there's not a lot of ink left. So I started with that one and just kind of really roughed it in pretty hard um, just because there's not a lot of ink left. Then I got a newer one that has lots of ink and then I just tried to lightly go over the edges and in some spots kind of like smooshed it in a little bit more. <laughs> I know, technical term there, um, just to kind of get it to the way I wanted. Then we're gonna add in the little felt flowers and I love that they have the little leaves too. And it's that simple. And I love how springy it is. Is this not the cutest thing? Love all the things about it. All right, friends, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow the page for more.